All right, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you guys the audio transcription function. When you have a piece of media, whether it's audio or video, you can transcribe it in your media bin. You click on it and you right click, and from the drop down menu, you choose audio transcription. So if you need to transcribe, you hit transcribe. You can clear a prior transcription. You can import a transcription from subtitles, and you can choose the speaker detection option which lets you have more than one speaker tagged if you have like a two-way, three-way conversation, whatever it might be. That's a checkbox. It makes the menu go away, but if you go back down, you could see it's still checked. If you deselect it, it goes away again. I don't know why it does that. It's a little bug. But once it's chosen and you hit transcribe, it will transcribe and it'll say speaker one, speaker two, and then you can rename those inside of your transcription after the fact. So I've already transcribed this file, but normally you hit transcribe and you get a little box up that gives you a progress meter and lets you know how long the transcription is going to take. Then you'll get the transcription box that pops up. In this case, if we want to access clips that have been transcribed, you get this little white icon in the left hand of the media pool clip. And then to get the box open, you highlight whatever media you're wanting to look at. And next to the Relink clip, there's this button over here called Transcribe. You hit it, and this is the box that'll open up normally after it transcribes. So to give you a walkthrough on this, you can resize it just like you can most windows. And then it gives you a running transcription. And as you click, it'll actually move to that location in your preview window here. So that's running behind you. So you can kind of get a visual indicator. If we click on here, it'll park on that word and we hit play. Sound reverberates to the gates of perception. It has silences with this little bracket with the dots. And you can actually tell it, remove those by hitting this little button here with the X on it. And when you do, you could see the icons change to a slash mark or a cross out. And they highlight this orange color. You could export the transcription. You can import subtitles, export subtitles. You can choose speaker detection again. There is the search feature. So let's say you had a script recorded and you were looking for or whatever phrase you needed to find out of the whole take. So here, let's just say in the vast landscape of sound. Let's say I didn't know where that was. And I typed in. It doesn't have to be all the way. It'll give you more than one, and it gives you just like a Word doc or web page wherever the incidences occur. But if you were looking for a line to start out your voiceover with or something, you can find it like that. And you can also have contains or full word, so a couple different kinds of searches. You clear it with the X. Let's say you wanted to start out your video with this line here, so you can edit with the text into your timeline. So you highlight that. Wherever you highlight, it makes in, 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 and out. So let's go ahead and choose this line. And then down on the bottom right, we have place on top, insert, and append at end. So insert will place it wherever the playhead is in your timeline. So let's go ahead and do that. So now if we go to the timeline here and we play this clip, it'll correspond with this part here. Let the vibrations of sound open the gates of your heart, allowing love and healing to flow freely. So there you go. You could start piecing together your script or the lines that you need just off the text. And you can play it in here too with these buttons. In the vast landscape of sound, let each tone. And then if you had it lassoed, this is the play in and out. In the so there's a play stop. You can put markers in if you needed a mark. And then you can create subclips. So let's say this line was a phrase you needed. You could name it whatever you want. Hit create. And that'll add a new clip with just this line in your media bin. A couple other features. You can zoom in and out on the text with this upper right menu. You can also change light to dark mode. And you can export the whole thing with this little button into a text doc. So let's say you needed this whole transcription to send to someone. You can highlight everything and then send out a quick text. And that gives somebody a visual representation of what was said. Now you have these two other windows or icons in the upper left here. This one and 
And this one that kind of looks like the timeline film strip. So when you're on the one on the left, that's actually playing back off the media pool. And then if you're on the one on the right, this is showing you the same thing, but in the timeline. So it keeps your script open, if you will. And then as you move around in your timeline, it highlights the words that correspond with it. Vibrations of sound open the gates of your... So if you didn't like it, you wanted to delete that, you could hit delete. And as you can see, it got rid of that there and trimmed the clip on your timeline. So it's very flexible, allowing you to edit from the media pool to select what you need or from the timeline, where if you're looking for a phrase, you can go find it. Here's this clip again, highlight it. Let the vibrations of... And it gives you a timestamp. That's pretty much most of the things you can do with this. It's a great tool, pretty easy to use, pretty flexible. The transcriptions stay with the project. If you grabbed all your media and just transcribed everything, you could work starting from there. And it already has the transcription stored in memory. So if you opened it again or needed to come back to it, it's available for you. That's pretty much it on the transcription. A super handy tool. It's getting better all the time. And being able to tag speakers definitely helps. So once again, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video.